Hi everybody, welcome to my channel. We're doing your, what are we doing today? Your Divine Feminine. I'm hearing the song, I'm every woman, it's all in me. <laughs> dun, 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 dun. I think that's uh, Shaka Khan, right? Whoa, whoa, whoa. I don't know, but that's what you are supposed to be today. And it's not about genitalia, okay? Because imagine me looking at genitalia when I do the reading. So there is no genitalia here. So you are the Divine Feminine, however you see fit in your life. Okay, as long as you're not having a fit because I'm just a bubbly person. Champagne, darling, champagne. Okay, so let's see what's going on. Um, we're going to be using this uh, tarot, the uh, oracle card. And everybody commented because remember I did a reference on who uses this. I feel like um, uh, she was the first one. Uh, she commented before in my YouTube way back, back in the days, the, the OGs of the tarot community. Um, it was Oshun, yes, House of Oshun. She was the one who uses this. Okay. So I thank you very much for referencing, um, you know, um, a colleague, a colleague, because we're a community here in the tarot, okay? All right, so, yeah, so that's her, if you're wondering who was using this uh, card. Okay, she was the first one I saw it. Okay, let's see what's going on um, with you. What did you have yesterday? Oh, is the separation temporary? I think let's make it permanent, Sal. <laughs> okay, <laughs> so let's see what's going on. You have your, oh, okay. I will explain the deck. I'll go fast with it. Meaning, um, oh, it's the same thing. Okay. <laughs> okay. Oh, all right. Well, it's not the same thing. <laughs> so let's just say, uh, the thinking woman, I didn't want to show it, but might as well. Um, cornucopia, okay. Angel of strength. And then, oh my God, broken heart. Oh my God. Too early for this. Can I have an Irish coffee and not just black coffee? Sheesh. Mm. I can use a little light whiskey for this reading. Okay. So you've been thinking about how to better your life. Okay. The cornucopia is a symbol of, you know, this is the, the Thanksgiving, right? The harvest season, right? So you're thinking about like, when will I have my moment, my time for myself where I can enjoy life. All right. Because as far as the love department, okay, it's been shut down. Because you are broken heart. Okay. It's very easy to see this heart. Well, the heart has been separated. So there is a breakup for sure. Um, if it's not a separation, then there is a disagreement. And right now you feel like, ah, oh, that's sad. We're not agreeing. You know, I think we're going to go break up now. <laughs> okay. The cornucopia is uh, about you, okay, which is I love. Um, these are blessings that you have been thinking about. You could be studying or trying to go back to school or improving certain hobby or skill. The angel of strength over here, it's just a symbol. I said, yes, you can. You can overcome this tragedy, broken heart. Okay. Let's keep it popping. Mary Poppin. Okay. What's the song of Mary Poppin? Not, not the spoonful of sugar. No, that's not, right? Helps the medicine go down. Oh, that's more of like Julia. No, not Julia Child. My sister always calls me Julia Child when I love food. Because I love food. You know, I have a relationship. And we're going pretty tight. Okay, with my food. Okay, so that's my sibling. So you are about to embark on a journey. You're about to move, you know, maybe a little beach time to get out of your beachy mood. Beachy mood. Okay. Um, I feel like you've said what you said with this person um, and you have expressed everything. So that's good. However, with the broken heart and the anxiety, it doesn't help. So you give your peace to this person, but you, for some reason, it still stresses you out. Then time to get out, time to go away, time for rest and relaxation is a journey. Your life is just starting right now. Okay, this is what they say. We've only just begun. Okay, there's a lot of songs here. It's like a karaoke. okay? Oh, because I'm hearing now the song, Look at me. You have the magic and the mirror, okay? So now you're going Broadway, okay? Who is the girl I see, right? Staring straight, it's the grudge, okay? In the mirror, back at me. <laughs> and it's called over the mirror. Not the kind of mirror that you want. Magician in the mirror, okay? I'm trying to make your reading light, so if you don't want to laugh, I mean, that's your problem, not mine, okay? Um, you feel like, all right, I feel like it's time for me to turn around. Turn around right now. 
every time we fall apart. Yes. Because the temple of faith, uh, the temple path over here, it feels like you have prayed for this, um, you know, like some sort of uh, vision, like, come on, g angels, give me something here. You know, is it time for me to walk away already? So you've knocked at the gates of heavens over there. Okay. So um, I feel like you have, you know, you have a tendency to be aggravated by this person. It brings out the nasty in you because there's hostilities over here. And it's time for you to take action without anxiety. So it is a possibility that you need to consult a professional, maybe a psychologist, psychiatrist, a life coach. For me, I'm a beauty coach from within. <laughs> Let's cleanse, cleanse, cleanse. That's what I'd say. All right. So action anxiety. So take, um, take the first step um, if you're looking for help to remove um, the feeling of heaviness. All right. Sometimes it's just the time of the month if you're feeling heavy. Because <laughs> the magician in the mirror over here, you can manifest anything that you would want in your life, but it um, it is asking you to move on already. Okay. Now we're just warming up. Then let's see where is the tarot going to take us. I'm using the quiche deck. And we are um, we are going to... We, we just added new tarot in, our, in stock in our website. So check that out. And sooner or later, I will have the worlds, okay, and the universe, all right, tarot collection. We're talking about, if you're looking for tarot, there's only one place that you're going to go, okay? It's Eat, Treat, Love. Yes, please. All right, so. I want to choose some little bit like crystals together with it. Feeling cute. Might delete later. <laughs> you guys are hilarious. Let's see. What are you guys going through? Okay. Oh, magician, I told you. You see, that is the magician. Mm, you are. You're a co-creator of what your life can be. People think like they don't have control of their life. You have. That's why you wind up with that bloke or Sheila. Mm-hmm. Okay. You created that monster. Yeah. Okay. I'm not talking about your kids. That's different. It takes two to tango. Your husband was part of it. <laughs> with the magician over here, it feels like you're trying to manifest newness Okay, in your life. And you're willing, you're willing to compromise. What does it take for this person to be out of my life? What do I have to pay? So my, maybe you're doing some sort of a karma cleansing. Oh, and by the way, I don't know if I should say happy Mahavarati. Do you say happy? I don't know, but I celebrate the thing, that that part also. I don't think you don't say happy, so. <laughs> then it's, it's when Shiva drank the poison and then Parvati prayed and then the Rishi, I forgot the name of the Rishi, um, put the moon on the forehead of Shiva to soothe um, Shiva, okay? Because he drank the poison. Because I feel like karma cleansing is good. Not karma, karma, carmelian. Gonna come and go and come and go. <laughs> Magician with the Two of Pentacles, it's time to pay our karma, our karmic debts. And you're willing to do that. Good. Which only means that you have accepted your path in this lifetime. Okay, some people think that they don't have, they don't owe the universe anything. We do, okay? We owe the universe everything that we have because we, we're just uh, people in transit. With the hangman over here, the divine feminine is thinking of different possibilities of enlightenment. The hangman is about to see the light, right? You're, um, you're in an inverted position right there, which only means like you're looking at the situation in a totally different perspective. You are on the path of your awakening, however you want to call it, okay? With the seven of swords and the king of pentacles, um, there's been some parts of your life like you feel like you were taken advantage by everyone, not just this person. Like you miss an opportunity. Um, seven of Swords with the King of Pentacles. You miss an opportunity to be stable. You miss an opportunity with your career. Let's just say you gave up everything for this person. And how dare you give up everything for this person? Only moms do that for the kids, okay? <laughs> so not unless it's your child, then yes. <laughs> with the King of Pentacles and the Seven of Swords, um, it feels like you want to gain what you have lost. All right, okay. For me, I want to lose, you know, certain handles during the quarantine. <laughs> I don't want to gain. <laughs> you got a King of Swords, lawyer up, okay, that's one thing. If you're filing for divorce or separation, you're distancing yourself um, from them already. And you're feeling that, you know what, this is such a heavy thing to deal with. But you're asking yourself, all right, so how do we repay this karma? Okay. Oh, in reference to Ma, you know, um, to this, uh, uh, this uh, Mahavarati, right? Okay, that's the right word. Um, like if you do the fasting, of course, like it is known that you, you, uh, overnight, if you can do it, then it can cleanse all your karmic debts. Yes. Um, so that's up to you. Okay, so if you want. But at this time, probably you already have that 
bagel. So <laughs> we can't reverse that. Let's just wait for next year. All right, King of Swords with the Ten of Wands. You're removing, you're cutting down your losses. Um, you're distancing yourself with the Nine of Wands, which is good. Um, it is what it is with the Five of Swords. You're putting things to its grave. So it's done. Finito, all right? That's that. The Ten of Wands is just looking like um, you're barring. Is it barring? Is it is it you're putting um, a divider between you and this person. And the King of Swords over here is like, you know the truth. The truth is like, you gave enough, and that's what it is. So sometimes we would we would pay the karma to the other, pe other soul, the being that you're dealing with, the human. And then we have to pay it, you know, through our, basically, the higher power, whoever has created you, to your God. Then now we pay, we pay by giving respect, doing our mantras, our prayers, our offering, helping charity, and then I thank you. World peace. <laughs> Okay, so I'm just saying that it is always good to help charity and help the world. That is one part that we can pay our karmic debts. Ask yourself, um, like, have you helped anyone besides your family, friends, you know, that is outside of your circle to help better their life? Exactly. So do watch for my Ganesh candles pretty soon. Okay. We are sponsoring elephants in Kenya. <laughs> I love it. Okay. <laughs> High Priestess with the Five of Pentacles and the Tower. Um, you're breaking free from the whole, um, the, your mind. You're breaking free from the whole feeling that, you know what, this is it. I'm never going to be happy. Um, you know, the universe has forsaken me. No, you're seeing now that it's like, no, it's not. It's actually my own doing, and this is why I'm experiencing this. So you're taking charge. You're accepting your karma. The Divine Feminine is really getting woke by the situation, which is good, with a tower. So a deep, soulful awakening is what I'm feeling from you. And with the Five of Pentacles, this is now you. I feel like letting go. Okay, letting go is the Five of Pentacles. The High Priestess is manifesting through spirituality, which means that you're going within, and then you're breaking down walls. Ladies and gentlemen, we have a breakthrough. If this is a treatment in what are psychiatrists are called just people, yeah, right? They call it a breakthrough. So we have a breakthrough moment today, right? As long as we don't break out. Okay. <laughs> so now, okay, seven of pentacles here is like you're waiting for you're waiting for um, you know, you're waiting for yourself to start loving yourself again. So um, it's like you're returning what you have given to this person. Good. I feel like your karmic debt is not really with them. You have debt to yourself. Like, ask yourself when was the last time you treated yourself to something good, like something that enriches your soul, all right? So ask yourself about that because you might be that whole self, selfless queen of cups. I'm here, you know, I'll, you know, I'll die for you and blah, blah, blah. Okay, all those crappy, you know, like... Um, you know, romanticizing the connection, which is the soul contract that you have. So now you're asking Queen of Cups, am I going to wait? Okay, how long should I wait to put this effort back to myself? Okay, Hilda, you got to start to die. All right, do this for yourself. Right. So now you have ah, the Empress is in the last card. I mean, look at that in my pyramid. It's a spread. It's not a scheme. Pyramid spread. Okay, <laughs> with the Empress as your last card. Okay, as the universe unfolds, meaning as the universe wake you up before you go-go in this journey, which we call life, which is your karma, with the Empress, it is here. It is showing that a bright future is ahead. The main focus of this spread, if you guys can just see it, you know, because in top view, I hope, right, um, is it's all about you. This reading is all about your karma. This reading is all about your life. This reading is all about you repairing what was damaged, broken heart and anxiety and taking action doing something for that uh for that stressful situation okay because if it's giving you such a uh, hostile energy if it's giving you heavy heart for uh, for chakra if it's uh you know if it's that case then try to channel that angel of strength within you because only okay this is temp the temple path like this situation is leading you to something that is spiritually aligned for you and then i feel like you know there's this um, you know, your throat chakra, it needs to be expressed. And abundance is coming. And abundance does not just come in, in coins, of course. It can be abundance in health, in time, in relationship. Um, you know, there, um, there's so many things that we can be abundant. And that's where you are going to. You're going now to manifest magician in the mirror, the one and only that the person that you've been thinking of. Now, it can be the same person. It can be a different person. But you're thinking of this, this uh, situation that's going to go better because... The Empress is woke, okay? The Empress is woke. She is not sleeping. 
She has done her, you know, her full face coverage right now with her energy. And you you have gone through the transformation. So I want to see now in the extended is like as we, okay, have finished this journey. I feel like this, your, this group, whoever I'm reading, whoever you are, if it's not a group, you're in your final journey of what your karma is about. So I feel like I should read your karma, okay, in the extended. I will get another oracle card, which is not this. I will, you know what? I have a, I think I have, okay. <laughs> it's like I, we're just talking here. You know what? I have a special deck there. I will read the, the another oracle card and then we'll see what the divine masculine, of course, whoever you're connecting with, and at the same time, advice um, from the term. So um, get your tea. It, it will be a little bit longer in the extended because we're going to see what your karma, karma, carmelion, okay? Because it's come and go and come and go. Okay. <laughs> so thank you very much, guys, for watching. Um, it's not the weekend, um, but I wish you guys have a wonderful weekend, right? Well, for other countries, it's a weekend, I think, already. Yeah. All right, so follow me on the other side. Let's look at your karma. Let's look at your abundance. Let's look at your career. Let's look at your new beginning as the Empress is reborn. You know that the first Divine Feminine that I made a reading, it was dark. And then the same title, I probably would use the same title, the, the Divine Feminine is Woke, something like that. I'll put it here. So if you have never seen that, I had gorgeous hair, you will see. <laughs> of course, Al. <laughs> yes, so I'll put it here in the eye, whatever here. And then it, that might be a continuation of this, right? And then you can watch that also and then watch this. I feel like it's going to be a good combo, right? Okay, so it's like a combo meal. Thank you very much for tuning in today. And I will see you guys again. Bye.